This episode of Soldier Knows Best is brought to you by About.me. Hey, what's up, guys? Soldier Knows Best here. Here's my review of the Cyborg Rat 9 Wireless Gaming Mouse. This mouse promises to be one of the most customizable and precise mice out there in the market that you can get to give you an advantage over your gamers just from the comfort level because you can adjust almost everything with this mouse. Plus, you can really go into software and really dive into the DPI settings and all that stuff. We'll get to that in a second. But first, I'm going to talk about the design and the hardware. Now, you're probably looking at this mouse and wondering where this thing came from, the Terminators or something. I might have to agree with you on that. And this thing does look futuristic. I think it looks pretty cool. Um, I think a lot of people do like it, especially the gamers. I think they're going to like the style of this mouse. Um, I don't even know where to start here, but I'm going to start with the five programmable buttons that this mouse does come with. Um, one of the first ones you'll find is right behind the scroll wheel. And this is the, the, the normal DPI button. You can go up or down on that button. That will control the DPI settings going up or down, of course. And then the other one you'll find is to the left of the left button there, you'll find the uh, mode button where you have three um, programmable modes that you can actually customize to your liking as well and I'll show you that here in a second with the software and um, also too um, on the thumb rest you will find the, just a standard um, left and right buttons that you normally use to navigate through the browser to go back or forward uh, but you can customize this button as well and then to the left of those buttons you will find a precision aim button it's a little red button kind of like uh, the president is going to call for a nuke or something but anyway this button um, is really good for if you're in sniping situations um, in, like in Call of Duty if you want to pull up your sniper rifle you can press this button and it'll slow down your DPI to really uh, give you more precise control and, and precise movement so you can really find your target and get that perfect head shot if you wanted to uh, so those are all the custom buttons there but now it's going to get into the physical customization of this mouse because I think this is the biggest seller point of this uh, because you can really kind of rebuild this mouse to your own personal liking and personal preference I'm just going to first start with the part of the coolest thing of all it has its own personal weight system yes its own personal weight system so it features five six gram weights that you can take off and on uh, you basically just screw this little thing back here at the back and you pull that out and then you can pull all the weights out and then take them off and on or put them on it uh, at your liking there and so you can use the tool to adjust the thumb plate on the left hand side you can move it in and out and also left and right that's what she said and then um, that can give you a, a better control over the comfort level of your your thumb how you rest it on the mouse itself and this tool also can remove things from the mouse to be able to customize it to your liking you can remove the pinky plate on the right hand side and also you can remove the palm rest as well and change it out with the other alternatives that they send you with this mouse as well so the palm rest itself you have two alternatives to the standard one which is just a regular soft grip one um, you have one that is a rubberized so it can give you a little bit more grip and then you also have a one, another one that, which is the same soft grip material as the standard one but also is, is higher as well so it's going to give you a little you know, rest your palm a little bit higher above the mouse and then it also has two different pinky rests as well it has one which is rubberized which you'll find with the palm rest and then the other one is a little bit wider so if you have a very very big fat pinky you can rest your I'm playing but if you have a, a, a different preference as far as where you want to put your pinky um, at you can use this wider one and it'll give you a little bit more control over the mouse itself now you can keep all these different pieces stored and organized in this aluminum box that this mouse comes with and also to um, add it with the mouse you do get this wireless receiver slash recharge dock so this thing is going to be receiving all the information from your mouse wirelessly to your computer which is going to be hooked up via USB but also to it serves another purpose where it can actually store your weight system um, at the top there and also to this is where you're going to recharge the two lithium ion batteries that come with your mouse itself so I do like them that, that the fact that this mouse does come with two different batteries so while you're gaming um, and if you run up your battery juice you don't have to worry about finding the USB and plugging that into your mouse anything like that you just pull the extra battery out of the dock and you're set to go now as far as battery life you'll get about nine hours of continuous gaming use out of one battery and but also to that same battery will be able to last you about four days of normal use so this doesn't top any other mice out there as far as battery like my logitech mouse can last me uh, weeks a couple weeks at a time or one single charge um, but i do like the fact you can easily swap everything out so it's really not a hindrance as far as the battery is concerned and as i mentioned before this mouse does come with software which you can download for both the mac and the pc which will allow you to customize the programmable buttons also to customize the different dp settings as well so I'm gonna jump right into this application which is pretty well done I would say here but it's just in different modes for your DPI you have four different modes here you can choose from on the fly so mode one is set right here at about 900 DPI I believe and I can adjust this all the way up if I wanted to I can go up and down just like that and then I can do the same thing for mode two mode three and mode four and you can see here that it does have a little indicator which shows up on the mouse itself to let you know exactly which mode that you are in and then also to down here this little precision aim button a little red button I talked about before um, you can customize this to your liking so 
depending on what game, what situation you may be in, you may want to adjust it to, uh, to different settings here. You can get all the way slowed down. So all your little different movements are very, very precise now. So now headed to the programming section here. I can use this to change the programmable buttons to whatever I want them to. And here's my profile name for this. Uh, you'll probably get that. But anyway, um, as I mentioned before, this mouse does have three different cyborg modes, basically just different modes for your customizable buttons. as mode one, mode two, and mode three, which you can switch on the fly. And um, now in mode one, I have this button here to do grenade and flashbang. But in mode two, I have those same buttons to do mission control and dashboard. This is kind of be for my, my daily use on Mac OS 10. But if you want to go ahead and get in here and customize these buttons as well, you can go and click on that and you can change the name of that button uh, to your liking if you wanted to. And also too, you can clear this out. And so if I want to make this um, the brightness decreaser button, if that makes sense. Uh, I can make it just like that if I wanted to. Then you can get into the advanced settings as well, what happens when you release it and repeating and all that stuff as well. So I will say that overall, I'm not gonna spend too much time on this uh, software here, but I will say the software is, is pretty well done, pretty easy to use, and it's free and also it's available for the Mac and the PC, uh, which is a plus. All right, now it's going to talk about the performance of this mouse because I do see this as a high-end um, gaming mouse, not only because of the prices, but because of the feature set as well. But everything comes down to how does this perform while you're gaming and doing everyday things from video editing and photo editing and things like that. And I will say this mouse does deliver on its promises. It's being very, very responsive to your movement. Um, again, you can customize that movement to your liking, but being very responsive to you, the gamer, and how you perform with it. And so it does have a one millisecond response time and also zero latency, so this does a to that and being a wireless mouse some people may be concerned about that type of lag that you could get from this on um, these type of devices because of interference and all those things but I haven't experienced anything I have a good amount of devices around here but I haven't experienced any lag with this mouse at all and so this mouse does get all the way up to 5600 DPI it's not the max as far as what is out there on the market right now but it's, it's very, very good for everyday needs, plus for gamers out there. You're not going to be disappointed with the performance of this mouse. So overall, what do I think about this Cyborg Rat 9 Batman Terminator mouse? I will say this mouse is one of the funnest uh, mice that I've ever used, just as far as the customization, to really get in there and tinker around. And I think a lot of gamers who use this are going to be, of course, PC gamers. So that was stupid what I was about to say. But PC gamers who like to customize their machines and customize the settings in the games and all that stuff. So you might as well be, you know, want to be able to customize your mouse, which this mouse does allow you to do that. And you can really get the, to the comfort level that really uh, suits you the best. Is it the most comfortable mouse that I've ever used? Not the most comfortable out there, uh, but it is one that, again, if you have different size, you have a, a messed up hand or a fat hand, skinny hand, weird hand, I don't know, webbed fingers or whatever, um, this mouse, you'd probably be able to customize it so you can use it with uh, with great comfort. And then, and then also to the performance of it, it's really um, outstanding as far as being able to give you total control, that precision aim button you can use just by pressing that little red button to really slow down your sniper shots um, is great as well. So I would say this, this mouse really does perform and I give it a salute. So this mouse runs $150, which does put it at the high end as far as mice out there. Uh, but I don't think this mouse is just for gamers. I think people are just looking for a new everyday mouse. You may want to look at this, uh, really look at something, especially if you're a geeky, a nerd type of person, if you like the design of it. I really do like the design of it. Uh, but I think as far as just the overall use of it, as far as a day-to-day -day basis, I think this mouse does perform on par with some of the others um, in this category. So anyway, guys, this comes to an end of this review for this mouse. But before we head out here, it's going to take one last look at our sponsor for this video. And today's sponsor is a website called About.me, which is a very basic concept, but has all the value in the world because this is a website that allows you to create your own About.me page, and that can have all of your information. So if somebody finds you on the internet and they want to know more about you, you can send them to your About.me page, and that can have all your links to your social networks, your Facebook, your Twitter, and also too, you can have a little bio there about who you are and what you do, and you can have your own customizable background image as well. And so I really look at this About.me page as a business card of the internet, where you should always have one. It's always have something where you can give out to people so people can find you later on. Maybe they, you don't have time to really explain what you do. Send them to, the, to this about.me page and get all the information about what you do. You can head over to about.me right now and set up your own personal profile for absolutely free. If you do set up one, leave a comment down below or on my Twitter page, my Facebook fan page or wherever you want to so I can check out some of you guys and see your about.me pages. All right, again, thanks for watching, guys. Please leave a comment down below. But what you think about this Cyborg Rat 9 mouse? And if also, if you do have it, leave your little mini review down below. And thanks for watching, guys. And I can't stop looking at this thing. Thanks for watching, guys. And I will catch you later. Peace.